Well, hello, my name's Gary. This is my Nissan 200SX S13 pickup. Never done a video blog. This is going to be the first project. First episode, hopefully of many. Hopefully uh, you'll enjoy joining me on this uh, super trip through mayhem, late nights, expensive parts. It'll be a good one. Uh, as you can see, front bumper is basically hanging off. The wings are damaged and held on cable ties. Nice and secure. Cable ties. More cable ties. Full of cable ties. So, new front bumper. Not sure what style to go yet. Rocket Bunny. JDM. Drift kits. Not sure. Static originals. I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll find out. New wings on the way though, already ordered these as they are completely ruined. Another cable tie. Uh, headlights do work. Don't know to pop them up though. That's an electrical job to do. When the preview owner had this, I knew it was used for drifting. It was a proper drift slag basically. Intercooler was here. Stupid scoop, look like I ripped off a Scooby bumper. Pretty shocking. That's gone. Intercooler's not currently in. So. Looks shocking, look at this. Look at that. Shocking. New bumpers on the well, not on the way, but it will be. Don't know what to do. I need some input on this, I need some ideas. Um one that's all straight, pretty good condition. It's got a nice cut out on here. I'll show you a close up of that in a second. To be fair, that's pretty tidy. Um it's cosmetic on the front really. So we'll see, we'll see. Here's a close up of that cut I was just on about. Obviously the air filters underneath that, so it's fair, but it does look pretty good and it's done pretty well to be fair um but don't know what the hell's going on with this massive sticker on the bonnet that's definitely going that's the first thing that's going to go definitely the first thing that's going to go it's a bit rough around the edges already got a flat tire but you want to see the worst um as you can see probably the first angle now actually we can actually tell us to pick up big bird i'm pretty sure one of the previous owners done it don't know who it was it's done an okay job but it looks like when they've done it which I'll show you in a minute. They've got bugger to finish it. So there's gonna be a lot of tidying up to. You'll see that later on. Rear arch, obviously, over fender looks probably gonna go that way. Nice and clean. Fenders aren't too bad. Um, down here, definitely a hole. Uh, full of rust and shit. Um, and loads on this back uh, rear of the arch here. So that's gonna get tended. But a lot of you're not gonna see. So that's pretty cool. Another thing. There's a little dent down here. Um, this is a minute one. It's tiny compared to one I'm going to show you. So that's going to get done. But hopefully, maybe side sketch will cover that as well. So it's another job, but we'll see how we go with that. All the electric windows in this work. All the glass is fine. 21 year old, maybe older. I'm not sure. Older than me, and it's fine. So that's pretty good. All straight down here. Stickers, decal, going. None of that. No, I don't like it. Um, and like I showed you this wing, it's pretty bad, so. But yeah, it's not too bad, it's not okay. too bad. Right, rear of the car. Not sure what's happening. Rear lights, vinyl, paint, God knows what, look absolutely shocking. Probably could rip them off, clean them up, might be alright, it's original OEM, but there's some nice lights out there, so we'll see. Really, really do like the Rocket Bunny spoiler. So I may go rocket bunny spoiler on the back with it on. Don't know, but I'm tempted. I really am tempted. Rear bumper, pretty straight. Um, few uh, problem cable tied on with the number plates around, um, as you can tell. It's not too bad. The actual bumper is pretty straight. I might be able to reuse it. I might be able to keep it. Depends on what look I do. Depends what I do with the front, side skirts, arches, everything. I'm not sure. Don't know if it'll look right keeping it over yet. We'll see. Exhaust, full. Straight through from the turbo back, um, pretty loud. Doesn't sound too great though. I think from the looks of things, what I've seen, it's just straight through. It's okay, but you know, choosy. It's JDM, you know, got to something good. So can't be the same as the one next to it, right? So we'll change that. Then again, stickers all coming off. Too many stickers. Too many stickers. Proper drift slag. They're all coming off. This thing. Thing off. What is it? Him have it. But uh, that's good. Have his legs as well. So 
so that's going. So yeah, it'd be pretty cool. Um, excited, excited about what back looks look like. Excited. Well, I told you there's a bigger den, didn't I? I told you that little one was nothing to my new. So look at this. Here, all the way down. It's just filler, fiberglass, paint, rust, shit, crap, dent. You name it, this thing don't even say closed, so I don't bloody know. There we go, look. First job fixed, look. <laughs> but uh, it's pretty good. Filler all the way to the arch. Look at the rust, it's just rust. Like I said, over fenders, so all I'm going to have to do is flare these out, get them bent up, heated out, hit out, hammered out, get them all flared out, basically ready for the over fenders. Um, that'll be a later episode, so you'll see that. Um, it's big, it's major, it, it, all the inner side, ruined. Here you go, look. Um, here's the back, pickup bit, buck, whatever you want to call it, here it is. It's got half a cage, well, not half a cage, but it's got a cage behind the rear seats coming through bolted, going to rear struts, pretty common, you know, I think everyone who do pickup can only do it. Welds though, do look like absolute bird shit. I could do better welds with no welder probably. Chemical metal probably does better than that, but hey ho, it is what it is. Um, it's absolutely filthy. It is green. I'm sure there's a thing growing in it. To be fair, it's going to need a good old clean. Um, not sure what I'm doing. Don't know if I should perspex it because it's pretty cheap and good. Don't know if I should do check plate. Not sure what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm putting a window in. Don't know if I'm taking these out. Pff, I hadn't thought if I had yet. So that's going to be another thing. There's a load of wiring exposed. That will get sorted too. I will show you that right now. Here you go, here's a close up of those uh, crap welds. They're probably structural, they're massive, but don't look very nice, so we'll get them changed. Um, there's a hole as well, actually, if I follow up on the top of the cage and you're going into the bulkhead on both sides. It's pretty bad, but I'll get that done. Also, the wiring, if I can get the camera to focus, I might have to refocus that, but it might be okay, but yeah, it's so exposed. It's. Odd. It was like this for a while. It was it was exposed for a while. I'll get that all covered up. Um, it's gonna have a new fuel pump as well. Um, that's gonna get sorted out at a later date. But it's gonna have it. It's, the whole back's gonna get done. The whole back, everything. You name it, it's gonna get checked. So right inside the car, absolutely stripped out. No roof lining. No pillar covers. No dash. You know that's just sitting on it. Clocks of cable tied in currently, so I can drive it home. Absolutely stripped, no centre console, nothing. Carpet's here. This plate here is actually for inner sill on the inside here. Yeah, it's got a hole. Guy who got the car off already had it all ready. It's got to be fitted, so that's pretty sound of him. Uh, Dean, pretty nice guy. Um, also, I don't know if you can see from there, but it's already got the drifty handbrake. Up, push it out, it's pretty sweet. It's pretty good. So that's pretty cool. You saved me doing that. Um, girlfriend for the uh, anniversary gave me a new steering wheel and Bosque, hopefully. So good of her. And she's helped me now behind the camera. So thank you, Darcy. Um, yeah, electrics work. Everything seems okay. Headlights, though, like I said, you can have to look at them. But as it things out, it might just be a case of fit everything. Maybe it should be okay. I'm not sure. We, sh we will find out. So. Right. Engine does run. Not the nicest, but. Probably could do a real good service, as you see it's absolutely filthy. It's done 150,000 miles, but when you think of this age in that, it's probably not too bad. It's got quite a lot of service with parts and that. Um, bigger rad, needs new air filters. Turbo's not too bad, but we'll, we'll see. So the car's a little smoky when running. Uh, complete ABS delete, as you can see probably at the back there. Um, it's filthy. It will need a thorough clean, new reservoirs. New uh, overflow tanks and everything, new air filter. It's going to have all new hoses, vacuum hoses, water hoses, everything. It's going to new belts, everything's going to get all serviced up, plug, everything full service, oils, the lot. Um, it looks grubby now, it is grubby, um, but it will be nice when done. It will be nice. It's all part of the project, uh, you know, so it'll be good. It'll be good. When I got the car, um, do say it had a dash, but when I went and picked it up, he said he made reverse into at work, and 
and that was the end of that dash. So it didn't happen, but he was nice enough to source me another one. So I've got another one. It's got a hole in it. I'm guessing boost gauge or something, maybe fit. Not the end of the world, though. It's going to get all flocked. This is going to get flocked. The second console is getting flocked. Uh, data surround and obviously uh, stereo surround will do. That's all going to get flocked together. Um, kind of pretty chuffed that I've got it all. They're not expensive, it's just they're not close, so it's always a big drive. But, you know, all kind of goes well and where it needs to, so that's always pretty good. It's always pretty good, so you get the idea. But, uh, can't wait. Um, that's basically the first episode. Uh, I've shown you pretty much everything on the car. There's um, bits of corrosion and stuff um, that are underneath that I haven't shown you. Um, but pretty much the majority there. It's mainly a cosmetic job, fitting all the interior back in and tidying, and then a lot of tidying up. Um, episode two, which will be up soon, will be taking all the stickers off, taking everything out of the cab, the carpet, everything I'll show you. They will be coming out. Basically, I'll be getting everything out in the shed garage. Um, and just knowing what I've got, making a list of what I need, what I want, and then maybe, maybe do some renderings, see what looks good, see what path I want to go down, but maybe also unpackaging some uh, new fenders. So yeah, please stay tuned, give us a follow, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, don't know what it's going to be yet, so you're going to have to keep tuned, and then we'll make something up as we go along, so, but yeah, like it. Like away, please uh, comment, any ideas, anything. Hit us up, it's always nice to hear, so appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching, you lot. It was good. Thank you.